why do we need to bleed the coolant? Whenever you're servicing your car and disconnecting the coolant hoses, it causes the air bubble to trap inside the coolant system. It reduces the coolant flow to all the engine and causes them to overheat and potentially damage the engine. Also, in the winter, your heater might not work properly and blowing cold air. That's why it is very crucial for you to remove all the bubbles out of the system so your car can work properly. Hi guys, this item I got from Amazon, but you can get it at O'Reilly or the local um, car parts store. And this is just the spill proof um, funnel. It's just very uh, convenient if you're gonna um, working on your car and you happen to unplug some of the hoses and things like that, that it has coolant in there. Uh, that you need to do this procedure just to getting rid of the bubbles. Um, mm. So uh, th they came with uh, different adapters like this, which is super convenient. Um, and you can just plug them in using different adapters to making sure they are fit perfectly. So uh, you don't have spilling problem while you're working on this. Uh, you might want to fill up the coolant about this high or about this is fine this lower uh this area right is, is still fine um but if you have it up higher like this you can see how much bubble is coming out it's easier to see and then by the end you're done you just use this to plug uh the coolant from uh stopping them from from uh spilling out while you uh, removing all these components so it's super convenient but uh, you can do this without just using uh, without this funnel you just you just use regular funnel you just have to wrap this area with duct tape and um, so it fits into different radiator uh, uh, hole so that way um, you're not spilling the coolant all over the place and you won't be able to get the job done so this is just one thing I recommend, but other than that, it's a super easy job that everybody can do. Okay, so I fill it up just a little bit like that because it's pretty full already and I'm going to start the car and see what happened. And, uh, oh, actually, there is a hose down here, radiator hose, and you can squeeze. As you squeeze, you can definitely see these bubbles are coming out. So this will help to eliminating the bubbles. Is you wanna park on the hill, or if you wanna have the ramp right there drive them up on the ramp or on the hill so the bottom is lower and the top is higher so that way the bubble rises to the top and then you can start the car settings load and setting max on the heat and then revving up the engine Let me show you how it looks like Bubbles. Seems like not much of a 
bubbles. And squeezing the hose. up a little bit so it rises up a little bit more. So as I do this, it's very hot right now. The heat does go coming out. Um, so it does getting hotter and hotter. I'm just gonna check in. Okay, so right now, this is what they designed for. It's like a little stopper. Stop like that. And then you can be able to uh, unscrew it and it's a little, little water coming out. Less spill. And then you're just removing this without wasting the excess coolant.